with Constable Mills today from Toronto Police. And we also have a special guest with us, um, Zarnain, who is a youth in policing student with the Toronto Police. Hi, Zarnain. Hello. So maybe, uh, Scott, you'll introduce Zarnain and what's happening and how she got to uh, become a youth in policing well, student. Well, we've got four students here with okay. us. We've got three watching out here. Zarnain, uh, she can probably tell you how she got all started in this. Okay. She just wrote a poem about it, actually. So they're basically, we got 157 students working. Uh, they're age 14 to 17. They're working for Toronto Police for the summer for eight weeks. Nice. And their job is to help out the, the police officers with a number of different tasks. They're not on the front lines. or They're not in cars going to calls. Okay. But they're doing a lot of behind-the-scenes work. And, uh, and they're really, really helpful. My... Director of Communications this morning said to me, he said, these 157 students light up this police service every mm -hmm. summer, and he thinks it's just a great program. So. Very nice. So tell me, what's a, what's a, what's a normal day when you okay. arrive at the police station? So I work at the duty desk. Mm -hmm. So my job is to receive calls and um, talk to people who come up with um, at the front desk with concerns or if they have any appointments or anything. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and I just let them know or deal. If I can't deal with them, then we just get an officer to talk to them. Nice. How does how does a uh, youth apply for for uh, to be a student with the police? You want to tell her how um, easy that's You go you? to either um, a police uh, division, I think. Okay. Okay. So you get the application form from them, mm -hmm. and then you hand it back in, and they call you, I think, or yeah. And then uh, you get called over if you're selected. Right. So you get um, you go to the interview, and if you get selected in the interview, then you get to be, um, then you get to, well, yeah, you're chosen, and then you get to work. Sounds like you're pretty excited. Yeah. So uh, did you learn this from school? Is it something that you know your principal told you, or your teacher? Oh, uh, a community? police officer actually came over to my school. Oh, nice. So yeah. So were you pretty excited when you were chosen? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Excited to work at the police, you know? <laughs> of course. So um, we, we talked in the first segment about uh, an issue. Should we talk about that on uh, social media? Now, why don't you tell us what social media you're on? Like, what do you like to use? Um, I usually use Facebook. Mm -hmm. So I, um, like, I would basically spend like 75% of my day using that. Uh, but right now, since I'm at jobs, I don't get like a lot of time to use it. Right. But I still use it like... Uh, you would say like four to five hours. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, that's how much I use it. And well, what happened was that um, Officer Mills, he uh, he posted a picture of me uh, at the duty desk. So um, he tagged me on it. So basically, um, I just went uh, to see the shares, to see the comments and the likes. I mean, I was excited, like it's my picture, right? Sure. So I went to... Um, who was it, Officer um, Slowly? Yeah, so he shared the picture, and then I just went there to, uh, just, I just visited his uh, profile, right? So all I see is at the bottom that someone's commenting that um, I, we as Muslims, like me and my friend, right, mm -hmm. uh, Ilham, like we, uh, both of us were wearing hijab, so it was obvious that we were Muslims. So he said that down there, like, uh, we shouldn't be in it, like we shouldn't be in the program and we're immigrants and I don't know something about handouts or something. And it really hurt my feelings. I mean, we came here to have like a free life, like my parents came here and then to have a better life, right? And not to be like penalized about something what, like someone else did, like mm -hmm. what Osama bin Laden did. So just because he's a Muslim too and I'm a Muslim too doesn't mean like we're the same, like we have the same evil thoughts or something. Right, of course, of course. It's, you know, you wonder what, what, what promotes a child to, to write something like that. I don't think this person was a child. So or, we, no? okay. we've got specific terms of use uh, mm -hmm. for our social media. We've got a, a, a social media policy for Toronto mm -hmm. Police Service. So, so any type of uh, racist uh, tone or anything like mm -hmm. that is completely not tolerated. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that comment uh, is being addressed. But it, it's kind of interesting that... Uh, we had great engagement on that picture, and a mo the vast majority of, of comments were very positive and really made us all feel good. And then our, it's our deputy chief, the same person that came to his school, or to, came to her school to, um, 
that she got interested in the program with that shared it on his Facebook profile, and that's where the comments started coming on, on there. So we'll address it, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll try and have a dialogue with that person and uh, stop them from thinking that way. So, it, you know, the social media is you have to decide, are you just going to block that person because what they say is wrong? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to engage them in conversation and try and change their attitude so that they see the same light that, that we're all seeing? It's like a cowardice act, really, isn't it? It I mean, is. To be able to go on, but, you know, sort of hiding in wherever you are and, and type in something mean. Yeah. You know? But Not that, say it into, to you. You know, to phone you and tell you how they feel. They just decide to, you know, write it out. Yeah. But do you ever say? Do you ever say to youth, adults, no matter who's on it, delete? I mean, just move on. Like, what? What would you? What would you say to someone like Zarnim? Uh, what would I say? No, to like Constable Mills. What well, would you say? Like, you know, yes, for this you, one, yeah, well, for something like that. It's on a Toronto Police social media site, so it's an inappropriate. Uh, it, we have a. a strict policy mm -hmm. about about racist uh, material mm -hmm. and, and and hate uh, that that might be put out there mm -hmm. um, so we'll be dealing we'll be dealing with that uh, and it won't be allowed to kind of stay up mm -hmm. in, in public view if it's deemed to be that mm -hmm. um, we're just taking a look at it to see if it is or not maybe we maybe we want to leave it there and actually have the conversation in public mm -hmm. so anybody else that's thinking about that feels that way mm -hmm. but first we have to establish if our if the person that they're talking about feels comfortable with that. So right. this is something that just happened this morning. We thought it was a really good thing to talk about. Mm -hmm. And I really commend uh, you for for actually talking about it and uh, being positive about it. And uh, let's address the issues. That's what it's about. Absolutely. And uh, it's an issue that kind of started in social media, but the issue is bigger than social media. It, again, it's down to relationships. It's how somebody thinks. And it's somebody holding a deep uh, hatred for for a group of people, mm -hmm. and that's absolutely wrong. And as part of as a police officer's job to serve and protect, mm -hmm. that's what we need to stop. And we're going to use social media as a tool to try and stop it and address the problems. We're not going to look at social media as the problem and say, "Oh, somebody said something bad. We're not going to go show our face mm -hmm. anymore." No, well, we are going to stand up for what's right. And the vast majority of people are using social media for good. Mm -hmm. uh, the ones that are using it for bad, um, consequences will come their way. And Zarnin, you're an intrepid, you know, a, to, a heroine to come out and, and talk like this on alltalktv.com because other, other people need to hear youth, you know, your age. How old are you? I didn't even ask you. 16. 16. You know, we need more people, youth, to speak out and speak up so that people that are hiding in their rooms and are getting bullied, they will come out and, you know, and friend with uh, Constable Mills. I'm always continually telling, you know, uh, my children's uh, friends to be friends with you. So mm -hmm. if there's ever updates or questions, that, that they can come to you. And well, the good thing is we've got a social media policy now. We've got over 200 officers that have Facebook profiles. They, they'll either have their picture in their uniform out there or the Toronto Police logo. Right. So it's not just me that you can go to. Um, it kind of started out as just one or two officers, Sergeant Tim Burroughs and myself. Mm -hmm. and, and Tim now teaches a course, and we've got over, uh, uh, over 200 officers that are out there using Facebook. And, and they're using Twitter. They're using LinkedIn, and we've got a YouTube account. So there's a whole lot of police officers that we're extending out into that realm that you can come to us, and we can be a part of the solution and, and not part of the problem mm -hmm. on social media. And, and something really, really exciting just happened last week. Um, Sierra, who's here with us, uh, she works right in, in my office with me, and Sierra and I were part of training three RCMP officers in, in the use of effective two-way communications with uh, with the public uh, using social media tools for the, the purpose of serving and protecting our communities. We are so lucky with the Toronto Police and Constable Scott Mills with teaching us and educating us and going out to schools. I know you go out to schools and talk to children uh, and youth, high schools as well, uh, about social media. Because, and what it, I'd like to see is more parents and guardians going out to these types of talks. Um, I'd, I'd like to see, you know, because especially the parents who are so fearful of um, Facebook and Twitter, 
Um, what would you say to parents right now, just to, you know, as we wrap it up today, um, Constable Mills? It's really simple. Talk to your kids mm -hmm. and, and extend. If, they, if your kids want to get a Facebook profile and they're, they're of the right age to do that, or if they want to get a Tumblr profile or they want to get Twitter, um, let them. Mm -hmm. Let them um, and go on there and assist them to set their privacy settings in a way that the whole family is comfortable with mm -hmm. and friend each other and be there for each other. Um, because it's a great way to connect. Uh, just when I was sitting here, we had a uh, police officer from Turks and Caicos Islands that was coming on to me, Skype, and I can actually see his face there because he knew he was following us on social media. He knew we were here, and he's learning how to use these tools, hmm. and he's trying to reach out to a whole uh, a community of Haitian-speaking people who speak Creole like himself down in the Turks and Caicos Island for the purpose of success and safety. And he's basically chiming in, uh, listening on your live stream right now, all the way in Turks and Caicos Island. Well, well, we'll have to wrap it up then. We want to thank um, we want to thank Constable Scott Mills for the Toronto Police and Sarnine, and have a really fun time this summer with Scott. I'm sure you will. And um, I'm Angel Friedman from the Angel Friedman Show, and we'll see you next time.